in this video I'd like to start talking about the non-price determinants of demand. What I mean is that we will discuss right now factors that cause shifts in the demand curve. In the previous video we argued what are the differences between the movements along the demand curves and the shifts of the demand curves. Now we want to see what causes those shifts. So with that being said, let's start in this video i want to focus on the first two factors which is going to be the income of individuals and the tastes of individuals so for instance consider that there is an increase in incomes of people in a given society people become richer because they're more productive because the economy is growing and so on as a result of that if we consider normal goods goods that we would like to consume more things like good food clothing good shelter and so on the demand curve for normal goods will shift to the right as I show on this curve right now. Assume that the D1 is the original demand curve, the yellow one, and it shifts to the right to D2 and this corresponds to a change in the demand of normal goods. However, if we consider the inferior goods, we can see that as income rises, as we have a higher income, the demand for inferior goods shifts to the left meaning that people demand less inferior goods when they are richer and i hope this makes sense because inferior goods would be the goods that we are using out of necessity just because they're very cheap and we don't have a lot of money but when we get to have more money we want to give up those inferior goods and switch for better substitutes so instead of buying really cheap meat of low quality we would go for maybe organic beef meat for instance now let's draw our attention to the second factor which will be the tastes of individuals in a given society suppose for the sake of the example that we're describing the market of bananas and suppose that all of a sudden people start enjoying bananas more maybe because the season uh, has produced a lot of sweet bananas much tastier than usual but people just enjoy them more and want more of them that means that at a given price level p okay for bananas on the market we will go from an original quantity one to a shifted demand curve that gives us a quantity two of bananas on the market so the quantity demanded on the market will increase at the same price level meaning that more people will demand more bananas on this marketplace just because their taste for it has changed in a positive direction they like them more hope this all makes sense in the next video i'm going to describe what happens to the demand curve when there is a change in the price of a substitute good i appreciate you all watching if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and we are done